Wanna drop Titan? No one will be here to see it anyway. Really? That's in memory? Okay. Shiny. Notice of airport closure. Hmm. I guess all things come to an end. No, closed airport. Airport, call ahead, train dead, close down. Okay. Uh, who's saying that? I've always liked that picture, I guess. Oh, see. You've always liked that picture, yes. I had them save it for you. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. Neat. These shelves are so weird. Sure look weird be being empty, huh? The whole place does. No, go up. Nothing's here. Okay. I was kind of hoping there would be a memory on the snack machine here. <laughs> Crimson! What the five bitties? Uh, what the five pity bitties? They take it for the bitties! Where's your sister? Where's the hippo? Hippo! I hear her coming thumping. I don't know why she's not down here. I hear you. Hi. Hey, take her for the babies. Nom, nom, nom. Good stuff. Good stuff, you slimy, slimy hippo. Are you gonna go back upstairs? Okay. No, I should. Not sure why she's hanging out up there, but. She is welcome to. That has a hand. Let's see if this is locked. And it is. This game is way longer than I thought it was. I thought it would be over by now. And that one's locked. That's not good. Dang it! <sighs> oh. How do I get in there? Oh wait, that's the store. Why didn't this give me memory? I feel like this should be giving me a memory. And it's not. Okay, well. Oh, right, there's a whole area down here. That is very awesome. See, good things can happen in the world. I'm happy to hear that, Crimson. I'm glad you were able to get your medicines. And someone had a kind heart to help you out. So, what's the next step? Or next step? There's hibiscus right there. With the airport closing down and all? Sure. Well... There's a freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with them the other day. I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think that you've actually come this far. It feels like only yesterday we were still standing on that balcony. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. 
happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, you've been talking. And? I don't know. I might try to ask you out on a date soon. But? Oh, wait. But, well, you know I am how I am with that stuff. <laughs> Wanna help me prepare? Oh. Not sure if I'd be much help with those sort of things. But if you want advice, I'd say just work on making yourself more interesting, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Still a work in progress. Bird. We haven't been talking as often lately, you know. Sometimes I even, even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry. It's just been so busy. A good kind, though, right? Seems to me you've got it all together. stared at that person, but he can't remember who they are. Hey, you can take up the flight the boss offered? Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill he used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try landing there. Yeah. You coming along? Mm-hmm. Oh, don't make me read that note. Drifted apart. Colin and Faye had drifted apart. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, Crimson. Sheesh, are they spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? <laughs> so, do you think he was just really dense or play not interested? Yeah, she likes him. Why don't you ever twirl your hair like that? <laughs> See, I always... This whole time, I thought it was going to be the opposite. I thought... Colin was going to like Faye. Okay, so I'm guessing... The door is going to be unlocked now. This is all goofy faded too. Is that on purpose? kidding me? Uh, stupid memories. It wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have to walk everywhere. There's nothing out here, though. It's odd how such a simple wish of being happy could be so tangled up. He shouldn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. Oh boy. Receive, receive permanent marker. Just draw a mustache on him or something. There! Now let's go get paid. <laughs> you moron. You can't just draw him a smile like that. Ha ha ha. Lips are red, not black. 
Great job. Now it looks like an affectionate joker. She drew... F <gasps> she took a red permanent marker under it. That's awesome. I like that she gets all jokey sometimes. We almost burnt through all the memories, haven't we? I guess. The vortex should be just up ahead. Good. Maybe that'll help us get the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Mm -hmm. It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind, and that he's... and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles, so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. But whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we can keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello! The heck? Oh my god, it's the one crazy person. What's her name? Roxanne? C could it be? Yep. It's me, Roxy! I'm here! Oh. How's it going in there? Uh, awesomely, of course. <laughs> oh my god, did you just see that? Rosaline went over and cl cleaned his face off from the marker. Nice, hilarious, beautiful touch developers. That was, oh, I love it. How, uh, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paperwork all right. It's also brought- I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Hey, it's Robert Lynn. We met him in To The Moon. Hi, Rob. Hey. Anyways, you guys want to come out and real quick do a paperwork done? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was gonna ask. About the machine, I think I swear- I'm heading out! Get the forms ready for a feeling! See, she knows the secret entry into his office. They got a kinky thing going on. Wait, what? You know the protocols, Eva. Colin's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we let others help before, and Headquarters never scared. Maybe... maybe we should have cared, Eva! Maybe WE should have cared! Oh no, what's he gonna do? When were you... one for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. And call me when you're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. H hey Hmm. How much longer is there? Dang. What? That was only on Act 2. The whole game is Act 2. Oh, boy. Maybe I just call it. Holy crap. Alright, hold on a minute. I gotta look something up. I gotta see how long it is. Because... Because if we still have a while ago, I need to go to bed. Okay, people will general finish it in five hours. I've been playing it for six. How? 
All right, so this person leisure is six minutes, six hours and 30 minutes. We must be really close. So let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks butt? Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like the paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized they're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing. I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake. I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. And that's saying a lot. Come to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from the patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place too. Oh, bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're going to have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, the paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing the docs, Rox. I'm going to go check on Colin. Oh, you're just going to get away like that? You might have fooled Eva and Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Oh snap. Because you registered machine is back at headquarters. In your office. What the? I don't know what you're up to. But I'm going to find out. Also, the lag is real. Hey, Rob. How's the situation looking? It's fine. I was talking with the medical doctor. And? What's with the murderous atmosphere? Oh, Rob. You tripping again. No, I am not. In fact, tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly, Neil's just gonna go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on Colin. Okay, he's gonna go check on Colin. Usually flashy. Is there gonna be a difference here? Why would that be shining again? Oh, here we go. Huh? A whole lifetime of memories, and we barely ran into any of these nice ones. Alright, photo album. Barely any of the happy memories captured here or seen during the memory traversal. Wife's up here. You're out early. Just need to take care of some things. I'm heading back soon. That's good. This is where all the feels part is going to hit, isn't it? Because she was worried about Colin not being happy because he wanted to go through with this procedure in the first place. So do I want to kill her illusion that he is happy? Or I I actually am suspicious. I think she already knows. Shit. Fuck. I gotta know. We're done connecting most of the paths from Colin's memories, by the way. If you'd like, I could tell you about the things we found. I thought that would be considered confidential. 
Yeah, but you're his wife. I personally think you deserve to know. Thanks. <laughs>